Hello, in this video I will show you the startup arguments in a WPF application. So, in, when you run a program, uh, then sometimes you want to give up uh, to start the program with some start arguments so like this one. When you say this is my program.exe and the first arguments are the start parameters. <coughs> now, this is my WPF application. And you see uh, here in the in the app XAML CS that's my uh, the application file for that and the application file uh, has when you when you go into the application file you fi will file find here uh, two things in the XAML file there are the uh, in by default there's a startup URI which is the main window and if you cancel this one and write in there the startup this one then you will see this is a event and this is the uh, is the property which uh, is the default uh, website or default form and then when I say okay startup this new um, let's let's say it like there here when you go there, a startup, and then you say new event handler, then this application uh, startup will be created. Now I leave it there. And now when we go to the co to the code, this is the code. Inside the code, uh, my application gets those data by. Here you see this is the private void application startup which was created sender, and then startup event args. So this is a list of multiple arguments or startup arguments and there I would say uh, by default I say okay this is my this is my uh, startup exe file and the first par parameter is uh, the, the, the folder like this one. So I would say <coughs> if the arguments length is equals one so in my case I only need one then I would say startup folder startup folder is the first argument and then I will show you what happens so we start this one um, now I compile it and then I would say okay I test this now uh, by using uh, command and then here I say okay uh, this is the command itself as you see there it's this is the uh, the file program file and this is the first parameter when I click in there then you will see uh, the, ap the application comes runs here it says okay if the arguments length is equals one then message bo message box show uh, startup argument is this stuff so this was exactly this string which we have taken there now uh, if you want to use this uh, the startup argument in the following uh, main window then it will say okay startup argument give me I catch the argument and then I will say main window this is the default main window main window small win main window equals new new main window main window show and then inside the inside the main window you need the following stuff inside the main window you have to go there and have to say okay I need here a, a, a variable so this is uh, you handle it like this when you say okay uh, string pub variable startup startup member file or something like this and when you click on there you will say there are quick uh, actions this one uh, encapsulate as property so it encapsulates this stuff that's that's what happens there and then you can uh, you will have this uh, startup property in your file I already uh, encapsulated this so this is private string as folder and when I go to my to the uh, to the properties there then we will see the set 
uh, the value when we set this this stuff is as folder and there inside my file for ex in this example I say write the text uh, into this field so uh, we will start here main window new main window main window startup folder this is this one uh, might be set by the argument uh, from the startup and then show so we compile that stuff again and now we run it again copy cmd paste now I see the text is inside our startup arguments have been taken over to the um, to the main window and now we go a bit further when we have a registry inside the registry when we take this stuff to the to the shell folder then we have um, we have the where is it the first node is nah, here uh, handle key classes root and then folder <coughs> from the folder the shell create uh, folder this is my actual app and inside there's the command in inside the command we will write this the same stuff but now the first parameter is the current folder which is given so this is a percentage uh, character uh, one now when we uh, refresh that and go inside uh, uh, the inside the Windows uh, file explorer push the context menu then we have this new menu there and we when we click on there then the first uh, argument is automatically the current folder so you will see it, the folder uh, went in there yes and, we, and when we take another folder moving one up now this one now this is the short folder <coughs>